morning all. Anyway, just um, heading to work very soon. Just want to reflect briefly on Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. What about church discipline and forgiving others? How does that all work? And uh, there's another video on the parable of the unforgiving servant, but we'll do that later. So chapter 18, verse 15. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. So in other words, just uh, you do it privately. As I was saying, go that uh, your circle of confession should match the circle of offense. So it's just between you and him. Um, that's it. Uh, if he hears you and you resolved it, then you're forgiven and it's, it's done. But if he will not hear, and remember this is sinning against you, so I believe it's personal. If he will not hear, then take with you one or two more. So in other words, the sin may have affected someone other than just yourself. So by most of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. And if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. It would seem to me that uh, at this point, the whole church knows about this individual sin. Uh, not sure what kind of sin it's talking about, but it is being dealt with in this passage, so it would be very serious. Well, sin is always serious, but if he refuses even to hear the church, be the church leaders, I don't know if that's right, like in front of all the members, all the adherents, all the attendees, I don't think so. I believe that is speaking to uh, the church leadership, and if he's not willing to repent as he's approached by them, then it says whatever you, oh yeah, then you're supposed to treat him as a Gentile, as a tax collector. Now, is this speaking of church discipline, shunning, and so on? Uh, not really sure. Um, but I believe in Paul wrote in to the Corinthian church of actually someone being put out of fellowship. But the goal was to restore that person and bring him back. The goal was for forgiveness. And now, uh, the binding in heaven and loosing on earth and so on, um, haven't really studied that, so we won't deal with that now. Now, the last verse, verse 19, we often use it for when we're gathered in prayer. It does seem in context to deal with prayer for forgiveness for the brother that sinned against you. And so, you know, God is in the midst of us. But I think in the context, it's talking about forgiveness and confession of sin. Um, I may be totally off on this. Please uh, comment and, and let me know what your thoughts are. Those of you who studied this uh, much more in depth than I have. Two or three gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Of course, God is always in our midst if we're truly focused on bringing our request before him. Does, well, I'm not sure if, we, if this is worth taking out of context or not. Let me know what your thoughts are on, on these uh, few thoughts. And uh, y'all have a good day.